are you calling so late now? I... I don't feel well. I'm afraid that everything will not go as we... planned. What if... Oh, hey, calm down. Everything is under control. We have already discussed this more than once. If you do what I told you, then no one will know about it. Trust me, everything will be quiet. You know well what will happen if we get caught anyway. Yes, but if you stop being nervous and just stay silent at least, the chances that we will be suspected will disappear. Do you understand?
Listen. No. I can't handle this anymore, Will. I... Wait. I think... What? I can't help you anymore with your actions. What? I am so sorry, William. I feel worse every day helping you do these... These awful things is making me suffer, and I cannot continue like this. No, no, you cannot leave like this. After all things that we have done, you are responsible as well. Yes, yes, and that's exactly why I'm refusing to continue doing these things. I have a daughter, Will. She's my family. I care about her. What if... What if I get arrested? She will be alone. She can't be without me. I told you that everything is under control, and you should not be worrying about it. We discussed this hundreds of times. So, only now have you started to think differently. I am truly sorry, but I am done. I don't want to be involved with your crimes anymore. But in return for letting me go, I will tell no one what you and I have done. I will keep my mouth shut. I... Still can't believe you were doing this. You remember that we also had to continue building those new robots, right? I need you for that work. You are a master of that type of engineering. From this moment forward, it's up to you, William. I did almost all that you needed from me. I believe you can finish the rest of the work on your own. You are a coward, you know that. I am what I am, but I don't want to help you any further. I just want you... I need you to understand that. There will be consequences from your decision. I... I know that. This will not be easy for you to leave. Soon, you will know what I mean. Damn, this thing started recording. Oh, oh, oh yeah, hi, hi. It's Karen here again. Here comes the second night. Well done. There were no physical breakdowns and everything was in its place. I still believe that by the end of the week, you will be able to finish your shift without any problem. Unless, of course, <laughs> uh, some vandal or thief breaks in, but that probably won't happen. Have any of the animatronic characters started to move? I wasn't able to watch the reported camera feed today, but since you didn't report anything, everything is probably alright. Uh, I think. While I read, don't forget to check the cameras, as it's really important that you keep your eyes open the whole time. Okay, let's see. Founders of Fredbear's Family Diner are two people. Henry Emily, Chief Engineer of Robotics. Designer and creator of all main animatronics, and William Afton, who also works in the robotics field and is mostly responsible for the financial statements of the establishment. The two men met at the university and planned to open. They may start using the new animatronics this week, as it turns out the old ones may be impossible to fix. Or they don't want to? I don't know, it's something that Mr. Afton doesn't want to allow. Seems like the new ones are much better and they use kind of different technology. Uh, I'll let you know as soon as there is any news on this matter. Hmm. So, um, all I need from you is that you stay alert. Until the new robots are delivered, the old ones will continue to bother you, but don't worry. I'm sure you can do it. I personally think this job is going to be easy as long as you remain in your seat. Check the cameras and make the least noise possible. Remember, if you notice that animatronics have made it to your doors, close them as soon as possible. Uh, okay, I must go. I'll check in tomorrow to make sure everything is alright, and I'll leave you the next audio tape. Good luck, and have a good night.